State of Affairs is pleased to welcome once again State Senator Christopher Kipp Bateman, a Republican from the 16th District. He comes from incredible uh, lineage in the state of New Jersey. To remind everyone, Kip, your dad, Ray, just a giant in this state. Yeah. Tell folks. Yeah, he was in the Assembly for 10 years, in the Senate for 10 years, Senate President. Ran for governor in 1977, actually beat Tom Kane Sr. That's right. In an election where they thought all you have to do is win the primary, you'll go on because it was one term burn. But they turned that whole issue of the income tax around, and we lost the election in the last week or so. But uh, it was a great experience, met great New Jerseyans, realized how big New Jersey was and how great yeah. New Jersey is. But uh, he was a real, he was a real institution. First class. Yeah. First class guy. Um, the reason I raised that, not just because to pay homage to your dad, who I had always just great respect for. Your father, you, come from a long line of folks who may disagree with people on the issues, but always civil, respectful, courteous, but debate issues pretty hard. Kip, what has happened to the political discourse in this country, and why are we so darn divisive? And finally, will we ever turn it around? Well, let me just touch on that. You know, my dad gave me a lot of good advice, but probably the best advice he gave me when I was first elected in 1994 to the Assembly is, he goes, you know, you're in the majority. When you go down there, Kip, make friends on both sides of the fence because you're not always going to be in the majority. And let me tell you, I took his advice and I made great friends in the majority. I was chairman of the Assembly Banking Assurance Committee. And then when it switched, the other side remembered that. And you know what? I have a reputation of being bipartisan, getting along very well with the, the Democrats because mm. the only way we're going to solve these problems in New Jersey is working together. What's and the deal? Sorry, um, we're speaking with State uh, Senator uh, Kip Bateman. This is Steve Adubato, State of Affairs. That's for folks listening on the radio side. Okay. Real quick, why are we so... Well, Washington is outrageous. It's is it, so is partisan. It, I, I hate to simplify it this way. How much of it is President Donald Trump? I think a great deal of it is. I think he's been very divisive, um, even amongst Republicans. But... You know, it's not just under President Trump. It's, you know, in Washington, it's been occurring for many years. We demonize because, each other. Yeah, I mean, and... It, and Democrats it, do it as well. I know, and you know, if they think that the other side is going to gain an inch, they don't care. You know, they just, they, they are so partisan. And, you know, but what about what's good for the country? Does it ever come into play that I'm going to support what you are doing, even if I don't think it helps me politically, because it is good for the people of this nation? Is that even part of the discussion? Well, it should be, and I think you've seen it in Trenton, because, you know, you saw it with... Uh, Senate President Sweeney and Governor Christie, they got together and did some meaningful pension reforms and helped. 2011. Yeah. This is a new time. A new, a new time. Governor. A new What's your relationship with Governor? Governor Florida? Murphy and I have a good relationship. He's called me several times. I mean, you know, I'm, I, I've served under about five or six governors, and I always give him the benefit of the doubt. I think he's trying to do a good job, but he's got to uh, bring in, uh, there he is, he's got to bring in the uh, legislature. That's Senate, uh, that's Senate yeah. President Sweeney. We're, we're <laughs> folks, we're here at NJTV <laughs> studio in Newark, Agnes Ferris studio. The Senate president just walked by because he's coming in he's after coming this. He's coming next. But, uh, yes. He, he didn't give you any hand signals, did he? No, no, he did. Just no, not making sure. There's a glass <laughs> window over there. Governor so. Murphy needs to understand that he's got to work with the legislature, too, and, to get things done. Because, you know, at the end of the day, we have to do what's best for New Jerseyans. We have to make New Jersey more affordable. And the only way it's going to happen is working together in a bipartisan manner. It's interesting. The Senate president talks about the fact that we have no choice. We have to make some very tough fiscal decisions. We cannot raise taxes any longer. We have to renegotiate again, even though as we speak, there was just a negotiation, yeah. an Yesterday. agreement between Governor Murphy and the public employee unions on public employee health benefits, saving about $500 million, if I'm not mistaken. Did it go far enough? No, no, absolutely not. But it's a good thing. It's a good step in the right direction, which we should have done years ago. And uh, Senate President is talking about, you know, he had this uh, task force is coming back with recommendations, more shared services, more consolidations. We okay, need... Whoa, whoa, back up. Shared services, consolidation of communities. Hey, you got 1,000 people in your town, the next town has 2,000? Yeah. Does the state force them, Senator yeah, Freeman, to come together? There's got to be a, there's got to be incentive financially. You got to have a big stick because that's the only way you're going to get to do it. I saw what happened in my district. It took four, I think, three times on the ballot for Princeton and Princeton Borough to become one. They and are yeah, one now, and they're one, and that was easier because they had the same name. And yet we've tried around the, uh, around the state. Everybody likes their home rule, but you know what? You pay for home rule, and we don't need as many school districts, as many towns as we have. We need to consolidate because there's so many layers of government that it's just becoming unaffordable, and people are leaving the state, and that's sad. Well, we're leaving the state, Florida, Pennsylvania. Carolina. Uh, well, Carolina is bad. Well, as we do this yeah. program, just a horrific. Know, uh, terrible. Terrible. It's, terrible. it's so sad. It really our, is. But Our thoughts and prayers go out to those But folks. they're going south or they're going west. And you know what? When the people leave, the money leaves. And, you know, people, not only the money, but people who volunteer 
on boards and commissions, you know, and you're, you're losing that talent. Mm. I'm, I'm curious about this. Uh, climate change. Yeah. You believe it's very real? I do. The federal do. government, the Trump administration, the Environmental Protection Agency, the federal agency responsible, Senator Bateman, for dealing with this issue. How are they doing? I would give them an F. I really would. I and mean, you, hold on. As a Republican yeah. senator, yes. you give the Republicans in Washington an F, an F because? Absolutely. Because they're relaxing all the environmental regulations. And, you know, I've been classified as a greenest senator in New Jersey because I'm pro-environmentalist. And, you know, I voted to uh, have us rejoin Reggie. I, uh, I introduced legislation to prohibit them from drilling off the Atlantic coast. You know, Trump wants to do that. Trump wants to uh, lessen the water and air standards. Why would he want to do that? Well, he wants to help business. He wants to... How does give, that help business? Well, it gives them, you know, obviously gives them tax breaks and they don't have to spend as much money on environmental restraints. What's the downsides? Yeah, and uh, just... It's wrong. I mean, you, know, you look at what's happened this week. I mean, cl climate change is real. I mean, the storms are stronger. They're more frequent. The ocean is rising. The ocean's warmer. I mean, you know, it's just, it's a real concern, especially for the next generation. You know, I want to leave a, a cleaner place for my children and grandchildren someday, I hope I have. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm an environmentalist, and I don't think the national Republicans are doing the right job. So now i got to push you. got a couple minutes left. Listening to you, you know there are people watching State of Affairs and I want to thank our, our viewers on a regular basis who write to us and communicate with us and are very engaged and meaningful. People say, people say public doesn't care about issues. They care about issues. They may not be interested in partisan, petty, ridiculous name-calling politics. That's another story. My job is not to do commentary. Right. Some people watching right, right now are maybe asking, he's a Republican, yeah. you say? Yeah, I'm a Republican. I'm a very moderate Republican, but I care about the environment. I care about social issues. And I... I care about my constituent. Is this party challenging you right now to stay a Republican? Oh, absolutely. Is it making it more difficult? Yes. And, uh, you know, I've had some battles in my own caucus. And, you know, it took... With the Republican caucus? Yeah, Republican caucus. Is there many, are there many Republicans who you're around say, listen, listen, we can't criticize Trump. He's helping to put Supreme Court justices there. We're in control. Just be quiet and let it go. You yeah. say? No, I say, listen, if... If the criticism is warranted, we should criticize him. Just and because if the he's a Republican, is warranted, he should be warranted. Uh, he should be praised. Listen, and listen, he's done some good things. But you know, I wish he would stop tweeting. I would, you know, I don't appreciate some of the comments he makes about people and issues. We but, said that about Senator McCain not being a war hero, quote, because he got caught. He goes, "My heroes are the ones who don't get captured." Come on, I mean, what did you think, Senator when that McCain? Happened? I thought it was outrageous, you know, and I. Yeah, my, my candidate was John Kasich. He didn't make it. Yeah, but, but people say things, we've got 30 seconds left, Kip. People say things like, listen, just forget about what he says, deal with what he does. You say? Well, I, I say no. Listen, he's the president of the United States, the most powerful leader in the world. You know, people look at him as an example. And if he keeps saying these things and twitting these things, I think it just demeans him, it demeans the presidency. And I think, you know what, let's do what's right for the American people. I can't more people be more uh, civil and respectful and gentlemen like State Senator Christopher Kip Bateman from the 16th District. Uh, thank you, my friend. Steve, always a pleasure. Thanks for Come having back me. back anytime. Check yeah. us out next time on State of Affairs. This is Steve Adubato. State of Affairs with Steve Adubato is a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. State of Affairs with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Agnes Veris NJTV studio at 2 Gateway. Funding has been provided by PSENG. The Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, Suez, Verizon, Holy Name Medical Center in Teaneck, New Jersey, Seton Hall University, Fedway Associates, and by these public-spirited organizations, individuals, and associations committed to informing New Jersey citizens about the important issues facing the Garden State, and by Employers Association of New Jersey.